What's up guys, Blake here from GuideOfVaping.com and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Wotofo Serpent Box Mod. Now guys, the Serpent Box is one of the latest additions to the mini mod market. It's a competitor to devices like the Council of Vapor Mini Volt, the Artery Nugget, and all the other super tiny devices out there. And just like many of the others, this device also has the capability of reaching up to 50 watts, it's got temperature control, and it's also got a built-in battery. So how does this Serpent Box mod differ from the others? Well, let's dive down and take a closer look at this all new Serpent Box mod by Wotofo. Alright guys, so you are looking at the packaging for the Wotofo Serpent 50 Watt Box Mod Starter Kit. At the top you can see that it clearly states that it has a built in 2000 mAh battery. It shares that this is the Serpent Box 50 Watt and then gives you an image of the device. Here's what the sides look like. We have the bottom and then the top. And then here we have the back side. You can see that it shares some info for Casa and Safada and also gives you their links as well as telling you that they are a Sevia USA member. So that's a really cool addition to this packaging. So let's go ahead and just open it up, guys. Let's go ahead and pull that lid off here. The first thing we see is this large Serpent Box user manual, the Serpent Sub on Tank user manual, some information about a Watofo giveaway, and then we have the device here. As you can see, it's very small. We have an extra glass piece, the Serpent Sub on Tank, you have a micro USB cable that comes in this box. And now we're ready to look at the device itself. Now you can see that this device is very small and what it has is dimensions of 54.5 millimeters by 43.5 millimeters by 28.5 millimeters. As you've seen already, it's got a 2000 mAh built-in battery. It allows you to range from seven to 50 watts. It also has temperature control that lets you range from 200 to 600 degrees. It has a aluminum alloy construction. It's got an OLED screen here at the top. Just to the left of that, it's got a 510 connection. On the control face, it's got a three button setup. And just below that, it's got a micro USB port. Now to turn the device on, it's five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. And then we come to the main screen. So basically this device is very easy to operate. You simply hold the fire button and the top adjustment button, hold those down. And then it lets you adjust from wattage mode uh, using nickel uh, 200 wire, titanium. It's got a TCR and a stainless steel mode. And right now we're going into the wattage mode. So a super simple and very easy to use device is, you know, it's very basic. It offers those different temperature control modes. It lets you go up to 50 watts. It's got that 2000 mAh battery, but it's also got some other little features like, you know, pressing the fire button and this bottom adjustment button. If you hold those down, that changes the direction of the screen. And if you do something like holding these two adjustment buttons, that locks the keys. Hold it again, unlocks it, and to turn the device off, one, two, three, four, five, that powers the device off. So guys, there's not really much to this device. It's very simple to use. It does have that temperature control though. It does have 50 watts, and it does have that 2000 mAh built-in battery. Now let's make our way to this Serpent sub ohm tank. Now with this tank, we have a 25 millimeter diameter. It's got this very, very, very nice wide bore drip tip here at the top. It's got a five mil e-liquid capacity. This tank is constructed of stainless steel. It's got a threaded top fill design. So if you want to fill your tank with e-liquid, simply unscrew it here at the top and that's where you can fill it. It's also got dual adjustable airflow control. And if you unscrew this bottom base here, that will give you access to the coil. Now let's go ahead and unscrew this coil so you can take a look at it. 
Now to start off with, this is a 0 0.5 ohm single vertical coil. It has four juice holes around the coil head. And if you look very closely, it allows you to range up to 40 watts. And that is the Serpent sub ohm tank. So guys, now that you've seen the Serpent starter kit, let's take it up some FaceTime and see how well it actually performs. So welcome back guys. You just got a close up viewing of the Serpent Box mod. Let me know what you think about this little guy in the comments below. Now the Serpent Box is a nice little device. It offers a built in 2000 mAh battery. It's got that top mounted OLED screen. It's got a three button configuration. It's also got temperature control and it'll allow you to go up to 50 watts. And this Serpent sub on tank isn't half bad either. It provides great vapor production and great flavor as well. So here we go. We're at 35 watts. We got that 0.5 ohm core installed and the airflow is wide open. I love this drip tip by the way. Here we go. The vapor production is really nice with this tank. I'm going to step it up to 40 watts and see how well it does. All right, so here we go at 40 watts guys. Not bad at all. Like I said, the flavor and the vapor production is outstanding. And to be honest with you, this isn't a bad kit for even your newer or more experienced vapors. It's got that small size to it. It offers that sub ohm coil. It gives you just enough wattage to put out some good vapor. And its size, of course, will fit in your pocket very easily. You see how little this thing is? and it produces that much vapor. Definitely a nice setup, guys. So that's it, guys. That's the Wotofo Serpent Box Mod and Tank. If you wanna pick this bad boy up, you can go to wotofo.com. As always, guys, thank you for watching. It is much appreciated. Make sure you remember to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, vape on.